Okay, hi guys. Uh, today is going to be a, a video about uh, setting up your lair. It's going to be pretty much uh, specifically about that, that and pro probably also setting up uh, the armory. So uh, let's get started. Essentially, also if you if you purchase some lairs, essentially you have to go and uh, redeem them. And then when you do, you have to go to the uh, let's do it. You have to go to the marketplace and wait for the marketplace to load and then you have to go all the way up there to redeem claim you click on that and then you'll have all the items that you can redeem I've already redeemed them because it, it can take a while and I, I didn't want to do that uh, while filming the video and th so then once you go into your, your inventory you will see all the items you've redeemed so let's start with uh, the layer the various layers so these are the layers that you can purchase in the uh, the marketplace So better to redeem them first, because then after that, you have to choose the layer you want to, to, to go into. So again, you, you click the mission. Uh, by default, the game gives you two layers. It gives you the Gothic layer or the Deco layer. So now we need to go get the deed for our layer. The game gives you one deed for one layer. Uh, you can have up to four layers, so if you want additional layer, you have to go to the marketplace and buy additional deeds. So let's use our one free deed, so, so, so to speak. We're going to set our layer in Gotham, and we're going to go for the, obviously, for the cave layer. So let's see where we can, uh, crap. Let's try it again, Gotham, cave layer. And let's see where we can put that little son of a gun. I would probably put it next to Ace Chemicals, but I already have a lair there. So, and the same on Arkham. So I'll try to find another spot. Now let's go to the shallow cave. That'll do. So, well, yes, we want to consume the deed. And then we want to go into our base right now. So, so if you never saw the cave layer, that's what it looks like. This is our mainframe, where we'll do most of our stuff. That looks kind of neat. I wish we could customize it, but uh, this is where we'll get our sidekicks, our mods, uh, our orbital strike, our uh, I'm sure I forget our uh, supply drops. All the good stuff. And this is the panel we're going to use to uh, customize our base and then stuff like that. So again, we go back to our journal, home sweet home. Yes, we do. So essentially, they gave us a bunch of uh, of items to to place in our base. So they gave us a classic dinner clock. They gave us a, a granite coffee table. And they gave us, where's the other one? Uh, they gave us a lamp to put on the ceiling. But also, again, from the marketplace, you can buy uh, amenities. So let's go see. You can buy the mailbox. You can buy the bank. You can buy the broker. You can buy the solder vendor. You can buy the R&D vendor. You can buy the Spiring Target, the Mighty Teleporter, the Respect Station that allows you to change your powers, and the Crafting Station, the R&D Station that allows you to craft Exobyte mods. So let's use the panel. Essentially, the game will ask you to go into Decorator, decorator Mode. So let's put in our classic dinner clock right here. Uh, there we go. Uh, I can. I should put it anywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna take it off pretty much as soon as we're done. And here's the table that we can place there. And while we're here, may as well place other other amenities also. So I'm gonna I'm going to place our my teleporter here. I try to put stuff in the same place in my various bases. Essentially, I have a way to to 
build my base because I have a lot of bases and it, it can get confusing really fast. If, you, if you, every base has a, the, the teleporter or the mailbox at a different place, you're going to spend half your time looking for, oh, where's the teleporter again in this space? Or where's the, the mailbox again in this space? So uh, by essentially I have one way to, essentially the, the, the mailbox is always in the same place. The sorter vendor is always in the same place. The bank is always in the same place, no matter what what base I go into. So that way, I, I don't I'm not confused when I go into the base and where where their stuff is exactly. Uh, the only distinction is that uh, depending on the base, I'll I'll put certain items in different places. Like here, I'll put uh, the sparing target, which I don't have in all my bases, but uh, this one I'll I'll put it there because I decided to. And let's go set up our uh, R&D vendor over here. Oh, wrong one. No. Let's try again. Uh, oh, I see my mistake. I put the wrong vendor here. Uh, it happens. It's been a long day. So here, usually, I'll put my solder vendor. And on top here, I put the R&D vendor. They look similar, so it's, it's easy to confuse them. There we go. That's a little crooked, but nah, who cares? So and usually over here, I'll put either my respect, uh, my my uh, crafting station or R and D station, or I'll put the broker. Uh, or and if I if I ever decide to put the the respect station, this is where I put it. So I essentially, I've I've uh, I pretty much have places where I'll set up things. So that's it for the, the amenities, and this I will remove because uh, it, it, it stinks. So we're done with this. So essentially, our, our we placed our amenities, which we can use. Works the same as any, any other amenities in the game. Uh, and the, the one thing is the teleporter. When you buy the teleporter, the only access you have is to the Hall of Doom. That's the only place where you can teleport to. Uh, in order to be able to teleport elsewhere, you need uh, mods for your teleporter. I did, I did do, uh, I did make a video about the teleporter itself, so I'll probably put a link in the description below uh, for, for to that video if you if you need more information about the teleporter itself. So now let's go again into. Oh no, first I have to do something else first. So we have to complete this little thing, and then it's going to give us our armory but before that if you remember there was a, a, a mission that was labeled 52 and when I clicked on it it gave me that little thingy that's called the orrery of the multiverse so let's click on that and consume that and now if I, if I go to the control panel enter decoration mode if I go to the oh let's go oh, let's go here why not so again, here, here you can see the orrery of the multiverse, and you can sort of see a preview of what it looks like. So let's put it in our base, and voila. That's this awesome base item that was added with uh, Game, of Date, Game of Date 52, and it looks all kinds of awesome. And there's also a huge one for the, the, the lair, the, not the lair, the, the, the legal, which is this one here. And do not, I repeat, do not consume it by accident. Otherwise, there's no room essentially in your lair to put it. So if you consume it for yourself, you're not going to be able to use it. You're, you're going to waste it. Uh, you really, really, really have to, oh, I'll do that right away. You really have to put it in your, uh, in your uh, league all. Uh, I'll do that later. So you really have to put it in your legal. There's no way this thing will fit in your in your base. So you'll be warned. And now we're going to set up our armory. So let's click on that. Clickety click. And let's click on. Uh, so again, we have to consume the armory. So let's do that. And once more, we have to go into our panel, control panel. And then we have to go into enter decoration mode or decorating mode. And also at this point, 
we cannot put items anywhere else but those red, uh, those, those blue uh, circles. I should have explained that before. Essentially, the, the amenities go into, oh, let's remove one. The amenities, you have to place them into, into these pink circles. There's no, no escaping it. That's how you have to do it. You cannot put them anywhere else but those pink circles. So let's put back the mailbox. So, and any other items, then you have to put them in them blue circles. Essentially, if you want to be able to put items anywhere, like if I wanted to put my orrery here, well, what I have to do first is I have to unlock free placement mode. You can see at the bottom of the, the, the screen, it's, it's called markers to unlock free placement mode, seven out of 20. So essentially, as soon as I put in 20 items in my base, I will unlock free placement mode. But until I do that, uh, there's no escaping it. You have to put the items in the in the blue circles. It's sad, but that that's how it goes. So there we go. So we did set up our armory, almost. So you see, there's this little thing here called lock and load. So it says, place your armor in your base and use it to imprint a new build. So essentially, the build we have right now is what we're going to imprint into it. Uh, but before that, see, let's put in, uh, I need a power, supercharge. So this is going to regenerate health and protect myself. Uh, this is going to do damage. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go with the healing one, because why not? And it's exactly where I want it to be, so I won't even have to change it in my loadout. So you send it, oh, and the skill point, skill point. I almost forgot the skill point. So I will go into Acrobatic because uh, why not? Well, let's go with the stun resistant. Well, what that does is that it makes me, I might as well explain it. It makes me 10% resistant to stun. So I'll, I'm going to be able to resist being stunned a bit more. So now that we're set, let's imprint into this armory. So essentially it will imprint the look of the character, the powers uh, that the character has, uh, and the skill points that the character used. And we can give it a name. In this case, we will name it DPS, because why not? One has too many. So essentially, this is going to be our DPS uh, DPS build, and also we can even change the icon. So let's go for the that little thingy here. Essentially, we can choose a symbol that will represent uh, the armory we we just imprinted. In this case, I went with the little uh, flamey thingy, and uh, that's pretty much it, I think. So if you see to the bottom uh, left, uh, you're going to see the name DPS, the title, no title yet. Uh, power munitions, weapon dual pistol, and the role is damage. And you can see a bit further to the right, the little uh, flamey symbol that we used, which is essentially the same flamey symbol we have here. So once we've set up our armory here, we can go all the way downstairs to our generator because essentially the mission is asking us to. Uh, it says, use the generator located in your base to equip an armory build. So essentially what, what that means is that we could we could essentially equip the the, the, the build to any, any uh, we have four spots where we could equip that build. And essentially it will decide when we do R1 and L1, essentially you can see where, where our build is. Uh, it may not seem like much right now, but if we had other armories, they would be at the at the other uh, points in on the on the D-pad. I hope it may. I hope it makes sense. So that should be it for the armory setup. So let's uh, complete lock and load, and then let's go back. Uh, yeah, and then we could continue to do our mission as if nothing ever happened. 
So that was that was the setup for our, our lair and our armory. So hopefully you guys uh, learned a thing or two, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.